Hey folks, and welcome to the March 24th version of Old Car Guy. Yep, it snowed last night, quite a bit actually. Probably got about three or four inches down already, and it's heavy wet stuff. Today, we're actually going to be looking at the old Mopar. I've had a few questions on it lately, so we're going to get to the bottom of those. Stay tuned. Man, what a difference a few hours makes. I'm home from work now, and I plowed the driveway at lunchtime, and it's already bare, except for where Grandma was parked because, well, I couldn't plow there. But, nevertheless, let's head into the garage and get this video started. So over the last two years that I've had this channel, uh, my 79 Cordoba has been in several videos, and a lot of guys have asked about the hood pins on this car and wondering you know what's up with them i don't see any wires i don't even see any pins and i figured well now is a time to show you guys exactly what that system is so we're going to take a look at the hood pin system that i've installed and why i've installed it on this chrysler cordoba and i'll, I'll put a link in the description box below uh, for the system that i have so as you can see it basically is a somewhat flush mount with what looks like a little button in the middle. Now I've got one on each side of the car so let me pop the hood and show you what it's all about. So basically what this system does is underneath there's a little uh, stud that sticks up with a ball on the top of it. That ball fits into the receptacle and once it's in there it locks into place and pops that button up. Let me show you. So this is the stud that is threaded down into the rad support. Uh, it's locked in there with a couple of nuts and the reason why they do that is so that you can adjust the height that you need to fit your application. So when that little ball goes up inside the quick latch setup it sets off a trigger and locks it into place. So when I close it, you'll see that little center pin pop up. So the little ball has now been inserted and it's locked into place here. If you look over on this side, it's doing the exact same thing. And my hood is perfectly locked. It's locked by the main latch on the center as well as the two hood pins. The reason why I went this route is I didn't want to have the traditional big round uh, hood pin with the pin and the wire sticking out because I don't like the idea that that wire may chafe on the paint and hang uh, all over the place when you're not using it. In such a big car with such a big hood, the problem I was having was even though the hood was aligned as you see it now, when I would drive down the highway the wind would come into the grill and it would start lifting especially on this side the hood so it would just sit there and kind of flutter a little bit to the point where I couldn't even see my signal light indicator over here. I really wasn't thinking of hood pins but I did see a commercial on one of my TV shows that I watch or used to watch anyway of a product called Quick Latch and I'm going to put the uh, little diagram up here so you guys can see exactly what it is and it's a patented hood pin system and they come in different sizes and colors. I went with the black because it kind of blended in a little bit better and and I thought that's exactly what I need for the old Mopar and it was discreet looking and they weren't terribly expensive and again I'm gonna put the link in the description box below so you guys can take a look and there's multiple uses for this. It doesn't just have to be on a hood like this. If you remember on my father's 36 Dodge He's got the side panels that fold down. You can use a smaller version of the quick latch in the sides to do the exact same thing and you can actually get them with a keyed lock. So basically you would unlock it and then you'd press the button. That way you don't just have strangers coming up and unlocking your hood from the outside. So anytime that I want to unlatch the hood, it's very simple. You just do the same thing you always do. You reach inside and pull the lever And then you come out with each corner and just pop down and you'll see the hood kind of unlocks itself. 
So your stock cable is here as well as the stock latch. Everything is all stock except for these little pins. So if you were one of the guys that was asking about that hood pin system, I hope I answered your question and I hope you go take a look at the link down below and see what it's all about. Like I said, they're not very expensive. They come in several colors as well as different sizes. So thanks for asking those questions and that's kind of what the channel is all about is showing you guys a little bit about um, some of the things that I've done to my vehicles and uh, some of the things that are to come. So coming up very soon, we're going to start doing the engine rebuild process on the 77 C10, what we call Dale. And if you're new to this channel, I want to thank you for stopping by and taking a look at what we have to offer. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and uh, hit the like button because those are how YouTube knows that I'm doing a good job is when you guys hit the like and you subscribe to my channel. And we can see this channel grow. As the channel grows, we're able to do more projects. So uh, the Car Guy and Six Fan Show is something that is a, a collaborative effort between Straight Six Fan and I, and it's a basically a car talk show uh, on YouTube. So every Thursday evening at seven o'clock central, eight Eastern and nine local time, uh, Grant, Tommy and I, we get on there and we talk cars. And there's a bunch of guys that enter into the chat. Usually there's anywhere from 20 to 30 people at any given time. And we just have a bunch of fun. So if you want to join us, I encourage you, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Grant Tommy's channel. That way you'll get notified every time we go live and uh, you can join in on all the fun. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys, God bless. Stay safe and we'll see you soon.